all of these, uh, the whining Republicans. So they, they tried this morning to to um, saddle uh, VP and Dems with anti-Semitic. Oh, Josh Shapiro wasn't chosen because of anti-Semitism. Uh, <laughs> e- even Eric Erickson, no matter of fact, let me try to find the tweet. Hold on one second. I thought it was hilarious because um, uh, uh, Eric Erickson, uh, big time right winger uh, out of uh, Georgia, uh, he had posted this tweet trying to complain about, okay, oh, here it is. Let me, let me, let me show y'all. Um, man, this, this is a really good one here. Hold on, let me switch this over. Um, all right, y'all. So, so here's a tweet. Um, uh, Eric Erickson posted, no Jews allowed at the top of the Democratic Party. Chuck Schumer wrote, news to me. Of course, he's the Senate Majority Leader and he's Jewish. Then here's a community note that Eric Erickson got hit with. Oh, my God. The Senate Majority Leader, Secretaries of State, Treasury, Homeland Security, Attorney General, Director of National Intelligence, and the husband of the 2024 presidential nominee, they're all Jewish. Um, That was not going to work, Joe. (laughs) No, uh, that's not going to work at all. And, you know, they're in an interesting spot. You know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be good. And, And frankly, I can't give the Democrats a whole lot of credit. They knew that, you know, 77 plus four was 81 four years ago. They got lucky here. And what do you do? You want to do what you need to do to stay lucky, to take advantage of a moment. So if Harris was going to was going to order anybody, order up a vice presidential candidate, what would she need? Somebody that's regular and extraordinary. Right. Uh, Somebody that you could call coach, teach, soldier. Uh, somebody that can appeal to your white working class, to your rural person, to your blue collar person, somebody that has strengths, that amplifies Vance's weaknesses, like, I don't know, being genuine and actually being credentialed and having executive experience. She could not have picked a better pick. Also, somebody who's progressive is bonafide progressive, but who has worked the middle of the aisle and who's a better shot than the people that are so-called Second Amendment uh, supporters. So that whole line about being anti-Semitic, that dog won't hunt, among other things, the Democrats weren't the ones uh, walking around saying Jews will not replace us. Those were the white supremacists. So they can act like they don't have a problem, Um, but they've had a problem uh, for the last few weeks. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better. He's a great candidate. He has a wonderful heart serving this country has not made him bitter and hard. Actually, Uh, it's made him soft, but he's done the things he's needed to do. He's soft on the inside. He's got a heart of flesh uh, and he's going to do the work. And he did the work. He's a worker bee. And so they can act like they don't have a problem if they don't want to. But today is another meeting where the Republicans are talking about what in the Sam heck are we going to do? That's where they've been for the last couple of weeks. Also, um, uh, Derek, here's what I find to be real interesting. All these Republicans, oh, my God, how dare Kamala Harris made a mistake. She she didn't go for the centrist moderate uh, Josh Shapiro. Uh, Kaylee McEnany was on Fox saying, oh, and Mar-a-Lago, they're excited. This might take several people. I'm sorry. I said if Republicans are excited or who you didn't pick, that means they lying. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't that hard. <laughs> Roland, not only are they lying, they're they're horrible in pro- in projecting, right? They they try to project uh at, to the point that you're making um you know, hey, they, they they didn't want Jews. They didn't want this. They didn't. Well, here's the thing. Um, you're right to the degree that we're bringing substance and style and chemistry. I mean, just think about this for a second. You're talking about an opportunity where back in 1972, Shirley Chisholm, uh, they talked about her hair and the glasses she was wearing and the audacity of this black woman in 1972. Fast forward to today. 
right, where they're attacking, and I'm sure we're going to get into it, uh, about Kamala Harris' uh, identity. Um, is she black? When did she become black? All these things, but it's not sticking, Roland. They throwing everything but the kitchen sink, and it's not sticking. They, this conventional warfare that they're trying to do is not sticking. And the reason why it's not sticking, because just like some of those individuals that were walking out of Trump's event that was right here in Atlanta, they were walking out because they're tired. They're exhausted. He rambled for 98 minutes and is not bringing anything. American public, they want someone they want their rep representatives, their elected officials to talk about what are you going to do for them? And so when you have someone like Tim Walls that legalized recreational marijuana, right? When you think about talking about codifying reproductive freedom, when you start talking about voting rights and civil rights, all the things that the Project 2025 is the antithesis to, that's their, their, the American public, they're smart. And these young people, Roland, going back to your point, I mean, you know, I, I have seven children, four girls and three boys. The youngest is 18. The oldest is 30. And they love this. They told me while I was at the barbershop, Roland, about this pick. And so that is the kind of energy and the hunger that we were looking for. And it just so happened to fall on Kamala Harris' watch. Again, I've I just been cracking up all day as I see these Republicans. Um, um, uh, Richard Grinnell, who worked for uh, uh, for Trump. Ch check this one out here. This was a tweet. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, this guy, Cernovich, is it Michael Cernovich? I don't know who the hell is. He goes, Josh Shapiro was objectively a superior VP choice in every way. Under DEI policies, he couldn't be hired to Jewish for Democrats. See, here's my whole deal. They, they, they literally are trying to say, oh, my God, Shapiro was so superior. Well, then y'all should be excited that he wasn't picked. No, here's the real deal, Randy. They knew Shapiro was going to have a tough time with the Democratic base. They understood opposition research and they're freaking out because they're like, damn. On paper, we thought he, that he, he was it. Damn, now we got to run against this folksy dude. I, I say Tim Waltz. Tim Waltz reminds me of Warren Buffett. He's not a Warren Buffett, the Omaha Oracle. He's not. A, he, he doesn't come across as a traditional Wall Street person. Very folksy with his manner. Uh, and I think and, and can, can communicate very clearly. He's not slick. He's not, you know, he, he, he's somebody. Somebody. Uh, I, I had a group of women who tweeted earlier, they said, it was a text message, they said, he's quite huggable. Whether people want to accept it or not, relatability is hugely important. And the fact that Republicans are freaking out that it was Shapiro, they're mad because now they gotta throw that opposition research out the window and they gotta figure out how to attack a gun-loving, progressive, military veteran from the Midwest. Right. They are looking and they, they looked for and found the least problematic person. You know, it was the same way that pre, uh, former President Barack Obama did with Biden. Who is somebody that can come in here and is not going to cause too many problems? I mean, yes, of course, they're all the positive attributes, but he is a candidate that is hard to dislike. I, I would love to participate or at least be a fly on the wall at these Republican meetings right now, because how do you go against someone who is has nurtured children, who has been a coach and a teacher, who's been in the military, who is a gun owner, um, you know, who is a family man, who who is about um, women's rights. That's a big one. You know, when you have so many Republicans now fighting against a woman's autonomy, a woman to be able to have reproductive rights, and he and his wife are intimately 
uh, uh, you know, known for having to go through IVF treatment. He is a candidate that is going to be very difficult to attack. And we know that the Republicans, that is their platform is basically hate. Very rarely does Trump talk about what he's going to do. He doesn't talk about path policy. He attacks. I mean, I, I don't know if you saw his latest tweet that came out today. The man is unhinged and is just spewing hate because that's all he can do. But he's in a tough situation right Right now they put him in a situation because how do you attack Santa Claus? They have they have they have cut, they have Santa Claus on the stage, not in the way that he looks per se, but in the fact that he is a person that everybody likes and he has brought joy to a lot of people's lives. He also is a favorite with the LGBTQI community. Um, you know he has single handedly dealt with uh, significant groups and in, in, in civil rights issues. And, 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 and attack these, these issues straight on. So it's hard to deal with someone who's as likable, who comes off as likable as he does. And so I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they're going to have to make up something, <laughs> some kind of scandal or something, because this guy, it, he, he's going to do the least harm, which is what we knew they were looking for, someone that could not really be attacked on anything. And then, of course, he does have all these positive attributes. But most importantly, least harm. There's, there's, he, there's, he's just a likable, lovable, I agree with the text messages, huggable kind of guy. And he shoots from the hip, something that they used to applaud Trump for, shooting from the hip. But then Trump got nasty. He has these quips and he's funny and he's able to kind of make fun of people like the weird comment, but in an innocent way where it doesn't seem, where you don't feel like it's, it doesn't seem vicious. It's something that people can not feel bad about. Um, and he's quick with it. So I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't say I feel sorry for them, but the Republicans are going to have a hard way to go. Man. Curl Prep Natural Hair Solutions at curlprep.com. I'm in stock. For curls, locks, braids, twists, and even those wigs and extensions. Women, men, and children are loving this line. Look at this video and you be the judge. People line up to see this product in action at hair shows, and when they take a seat and try it, they don't believe it's their hair. Buy the products at curlprep.com. It works on all hair types. Use code ROLAND, that's R-O-L-A-N-D, lowercase letters, to get a 15% discount. Parents, remove the ouch. You will love this system because you can comb the product through your child's hair with your fingers. It's all at curlprep.com. Use code ROLAND, lowercase letters, to get a 15% discount.